Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the Smooth Pursuit Test. The Smooth Pursuit Test is one of the special tests that's used in the oculomotor exam, and it's specific for a central vestibular deficit. So, to perform the Smooth Pursuit Test, the patient will be positioned and sitting, and a small target is quickly oscillated horizontally between negative 30 degrees and positive 30 degrees. That just means 30 degrees to the left, 30 degrees to the right. And so normally a pencil or pen like this is used and the patient is instructed to maintain their gaze on the tip of the pen or the tip of the pencil. So in the case of the pencil, I might say, keep your gaze fixed on that white eraser there. In this example, in the video here, I'm using a pen and so the tip of the pen that kind of clicks, that's what she's gonna be maintaining her gaze on, okay? And the patient is also instructed to not move their head. It's only their eyes that are moving. We're looking at smooth pursuit of the eyes, not the neck. So let's take a look at this in the horizontal direction. So as you can see here, I'm going to be moving this thing horizontally 30 degrees to the left, 30 degrees to the right, and she follows this with her eyes. Now what we're assessing for is smooth pursuit of those eyes as they track this object. So what that essentially means is the eyes should move cleanly like this. If you see something that looks more like this, where there's kind of these obvious jumps, those are termed saccadic intrusions, and we'll talk more about the abnormal test results in just a minute, okay? But that's the horizontal test. We're gonna repeat the same thing, but in the vertical direction. So now the eyes are going to move up and down, as you see right there. And again, we're checking for smooth pursuit, and we're noting if there's any of those saccadic intrusions during the test. Now, that being said, what constitutes an abnormal test? Well, the most definitive abnormal finding is saccadic intrusions, and by definition, that is an abnormal test that indicates or suggests a central vestibular deficit. If you actually look at her eyes here, as we're doing the horizontal smooth pursuit, there's a few saccadic intrusions in there, particularly as the eyeballs cross the midline, and hopefully you can actually see that. Uh, those I would indicate as saccadic intrusions when I'm doing, when I'm writing up the documentation. And then there's some other things here that might be brought on by this test. Dizziness and other symptoms consistent with dizziness, nausea, headache, lightheadedness. Um, these things are certainly abnormal, no doubt about it. If you have somebody without any deficit, no issues whatsoever, tracking that pen or whatever the object is should not produce any symptoms. So these are definitely abnormal, but they are not as specific for a central issue as the saccadic intrusions. If you see saccadic intrusions, it doesn't have to be both of them. It could be horizontal or the vertical. That is really pointing to a central vestibular deficit. If you have these other symptoms without the saccadic intrusions, it's still possible that it's a central deficit. They're just not quite as specific. And you would also want to correlate those with the other findings in your ocular motor exam. Um, I had a patient where I was running through these central tests and they got dizzy and had blurring and all sorts of stuff um, during the horizontal and vertical smooth pursuit tests. And if I just said, oh, well, it's a central deficit, I would have gotten the diagnosis wrong. It turns out that when I did the head thrust test and assessed for VOR, her VOR was not intact at all. She had very poor gaze stabilization and required gaze stabilization exercises, which are not quite consistent with a central deficit. So you wanna make sure if it's not saccadic intrusions, but it's this other stuff, that you correlate it with the other findings in your oculomotor exam. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the smooth pursuit test. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much.